Hello my Mobile Legends friends! Today we'll have a look at the 5 best mage heroes in Mobile Legends. There are a lot of different mages that all can be strong in a certain situation. I've created this list of the 5 best mage heroes that are just really overpowered in the right situation. Let's have a look at the first one. So the very first hero on this list is Vil. He got 3 area of effect damage skills that all deal insane damage. It's not that hard for him to kill a squishy hero in only one combo because of the high damage output of his skills. Combined with the CC of his skills, it's just really easy to unleash his combo on an enemy or a wool group. The cool thing is that he can also upgrade each skill once and choose from two options. His first skill can be upgraded to deal more damage or have a bigger area. Skill 2 can knock the target airborne or stop on hit. And when upgrading his ultimate, you can choose between more damage or CC. So his skills are quite easy but powerful. Skill 1 deals damage twice in a line from a big distance. His second skill summons a whirlwind to deal magic damage and slows the target by 40% for 2 seconds. And his ultimate is a skill to look out for. Casting it summons a windstorm. After 1.5 seconds, the windstorm explodes to deal a huge amount of damage to the target. So the playstyle of Vil really depends on how you upgrade the skills. I mostly upgrade skill 1 to have more damage, skill 2 to add a knock airborne effect and the ultimate to add more CC. This makes it easy to unleash your skills and erase thousands of HP. His most used combo is to start with his ultimate, cast skill 2 right afterwards to knock up the target and then skill 1 to let it deal damage the same time Vil's ultimate explodes. It's so easy to wait in a bush and kill the marksman in only one combo. Also his skills work very well in teamfights, especially if the enemies are close together. So Phil is especially strong against the heroes that fight from close combat. Because of his range, Phil can stay at a safe distance while dealing fairly high damage with his skills. Heroes like Bane, Drisla, Claude, Leomord and others are perfect heroes to fight against. Just make sure you stay on a safe distance and unleash your skills whenever possible. Be careful against the heroes that come close easily. Phil is really weak from close combat, which makes heroes like Lane, Karina, Gushen and Lancelot quite strong heroes to match up against. Phil is a great hero and is one of the strongest mages at the moment. If you'd like me to make a video about Phil or one of the other ones, just let me know in the comment section. So I think at this moment Valentina is also one of the greatest heroes you can pick. She deals a good amount of damage and her second skill makes her quite mobile. But it's her ultimate which makes Valentina such a great pick. She is the only hero that's able to copy skills of an enemy. By casting this skill you have a long range to select an enemy hero. Afterwards she is able to cast the same ultimate as the enemy which can be quite useful in combination with her other two skills. She also copies the basic attack of the target. However, when she uses the skill against a hero that has an ultimate which transforms you, she also gets the skills of that hero. So for example, Yuzong turns into the black dragon when casting his ultimate. This will make Valentina get the skills of Yuzong instead of her own ones. Casting the skill against a hero with a normal ultimate, like Leila, makes Valentina keep her own skills. So this way she has the ultimate and basic attack of Leila, but is still able to deal magic damage and benefit from her mobility from skill 2. So you should use the skill on the right hero to benefit the most from it. By casting it against a physical damage based hero, the magic power of Valentina gets converted into physical attack, so she also deals a good amount of damage with her basic attack. Selecting the right hero to cast her ultimate on is important to maximize her effectiveness. Try to pick a hero that has a really strong ultimate. Heroes like Estus, Argus, Helkurt, Hayabusa, Odette, Diggy are just a few heroes that have a strong ultimate to copy. Stealing the ultimate of Estus for example can help you a lot in a teamfight. There are also a few heroes that are strong against Valentina. That are mostly the high burst damage heroes. So be careful against heroes like Aldous, Leslie, Eudora, Aurora and Vil. If you dodge such heroes, Valentina is a great pick and have a big impact on a teamfight when copying the right ultimate of an enemy hero. 
Then we also have Cecilian on this list, which deals really high damage if the match takes a long time. That's all because of how his abilities work. Unlike any other hero, Cecilian gains permanent mana when using skills. This is great for him, because the damage of his skills is partly based on the total mana of Cecilian. So effectively, every time Cecilian deals skill damage, it strengthens his skills. Every skill adds 10 extra mana. So his first skill is the real damage dealer. This skill can only be cast at a set range. It deals a good amount of damage and has a low cooldown. But the mana consumption increases every time you use this skill and it takes 6 seconds to reset it. Dealing damage with this skill also increases the movement speed of Cecilian by 30% for 1 second. So his second skill doesn't deal that high damage, but it's a great CC skill. Cecilian is able to cast it from a fair distance and after a short delay, it drags all enemies to the center to immobilize them for 1 second. This is just a great skill to CC the enemies and being able to deal damage with skill 1. Then we have his ultimate left, which doesn't deal that much damage. Casting it lets Cecilian increase his movement speed by 60% and becoming immune to slow effects. Meanwhile, he shoots 40 bullets to surrounding enemies, which all do a small amount of magic damage and slow the target. This skill also heals Cecilian a bit, which is based on his lost HP. These skills are really great and you need to understand his mechanics well to maximize the effect of Cecilian. For him, it's really important to get as much stacks as possible to maximize his mana. That's why you need to stay at the mid lane and just kill the minions and use skills against jungle monsters whenever the minions aren't around. Cecilian is a true late game monster, so it really pays off to just focus on getting stacks and dominate the battlefield in late game. Cecilian is especially strong against the heroes that have bad mobility and short attack range. This way it's easy to keep a safe distance and deal high damage to the enemies. Heroes like Bane, Layla, Angela, Estes and Eudora are perfect heroes to match up against. Just like Vil, Cecilian is really weak against heroes that come close easily. This makes heroes like Basha, Ling, Helkurt and Esmeralda very hard heroes to match up against. So be careful against such heroes. Cecilian is just a wonderful hero and using early game to get stacks really pays off in late game. I've made a complete guide about this hero a while ago, so if you want to master him, just take a look at this guide. Link is in the description. So only two heroes left on this list and one of them is Xavier. At the moment of shooting, this hero is the newest mage in Mobile Legends. For me, he's kind of the mage version of Layla. So Xavier needs to use his skills to become strong. That's all because of his passive, which improves his skills every time he deals skill damage against enemies. If he deals damage once, it increases the damage of his skills to 120%. Dealing damage twice increases the damage to 125% and greatly increases the weight of his skills. Then we have the third state, increasing the damage to 130% and reducing the cooldown reduction of his skills. This state only lasts 5 seconds, but can be extended whenever he uses a skill against an enemy. So you by now already understand that it's important to aim his skills right and deal damage to enemy heroes. His first skill is the main source of damage and casting this skill just deals damage to all enemies it passes through. The range of the bullet gets increased every time it hits an enemy hero or moves through skill 2. So skill 2 just summons a barrier. The enemies that walk through it get their movement speed decreased, while allies get increased movement speed from walking through it. But the real power starts when using another skill through the barrier. This lets the barrier convert into a field for 3 seconds. Enemies that walk into the field receive damage and get immobilized for 1.5 seconds. This skill is just wonderful in teamfights, especially if the white is increased by his passive. Then his ultimate deals damage in a line in front of him that reaches all through the map. This is a great ability to finish an enemy that's returning or to help to deal damage to an other lane. When playing this hero, it's really important you aim your skills right, so Xavier activates his passive. This is especially true in the last form, since this decreased the cooldown reduction and this lets Xavier keep spamming skills. 
He's a really great pick and is also the strongest against enemies that only attack from a close distance. This makes it easy for Xidivir to stay at a distance and keep spamming his skills to deal huge amounts of damage. Pick him against heroes like Angela, Franco, Argus, Leomard and Exborg. For Xavier, it's also dangerous to fight against heroes that come close easily. Also heroes with high movement speed can be strong against him, since it's much harder to hit his skills. Heroes like Esmeralda, Ling, Hanzo and Roger are all heroes to look out for. Overall, Xavier is a wonderful pick and should be on the top of your list. If you've counted right, you already know that the next hero is the last one on this list. The very last hero is Eudora, which is a high burst damage hero. I think everyone already knows that hero and she has a deadly combo which is easy to aim. That's because two of the three skills can be selected instead of aiming the skill. This makes Eudora a quite easy hero to play, but to master her a bit of experience is needed. So to be effective, you really need to understand her passive. Every skill or battle spell she casts adds the superconductor effect to the enemy. When casting the next skill, this effect will improve the effect of the skills. So the first skill she casts doesn't benefit from the effect, but every skill right after that one does. Adjusting your combo on the situation is therefore really important to maximize the effectiveness of Adora. Her first skill is quite easy. This is the only one you need to aim and it just deals magic damage in front of her. If the enemy already is affected by the superconductor state, the target receives some extra magic damage. The second skill can be casted on a single target. This deals a small amount of magic damage as well as stunning the target for 1.2 seconds and the magic defense will be reduced too. If the target is affected by the superconductor effect, this skill also bounces off to other enemies, stunning them for 0.6 seconds and deal a small amount of magic damage. Then there's her ultimate. This skill also selects a target to deal a huge amount of magic damage. The superconductor effect adds another damage to the target afterwards, which also hits all surrounding units. So the skills are quite simple, but can be very deadly when used right. The best combo is to start with Flameshot, which also adds the superconductor state to the target. This way all three skills benefit from the superconductor effect. If your battle spell is on cooldown, you can start with skill 2, then skill 1 and finish with your ultimate for the maximum amount of damage. In a team fight, it's probably better to start with skill 1 then skill 2 and finish with her ultimate. This way more enemies get stunned. It also helps to hide in a bush when playing Eudora. Just look for the bush where enemies walk through and unleash your skills against a squishy enemy to make a nearly certain kill. Eudora is such a strong hero against squishy enemies. The lower the HP of the enemy, the easier her combo defeats them. This makes Eudora a great pick against heroes like Gord, Irrital, Chu, Karina and Angela. The heroes with high HP and defense are a true nightmare for Eudora. She only has her combo and if she can't kill the target with it, she's quite useless until her skills get off cooldown again. Be careful against heroes like Hylus, Belleric, Tigreal, Basia and Belmont. Overall, she's just a wonderful hero and gets really strong when played right. This were the 5 best mage heroes in Mobile Legends of this moment. I hope you enjoyed it and more importantly, learned something. If you have some spare time, you'll find a lot of other useful Mobile Legends videos on this channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide. Start by changing yourself.